Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. So, I did a Primark haul last week and I asked you guys in that video if you'd like me to go back and get some of their new beauty products and do a good old testing Primark beauty video, which I haven't done. Oh my goodness, when did I last do one? I feel like it's been so long. I used to do these all the time and I hope you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you'd like me to start doing these more often again. And yeah, let's go. So I've got my little Primark bag with a little hole in it because Moon decided to attack it, standard. But yeah, I've just got a bunch of things in here. I've got some random things, honestly. I've got a sponge holder and some donuts. <laughs> You'll see, you'll see later. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with fake tan. I got the PS Bronze Radiant Glow Self Tan Mousse. I got mine in the shade Extra Ow, Extra Dark. I think I was thinking, this was my logic, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. You know, I wanna properly test one that's definitely gonna show up. So I went for Extra Dark. They did a light to medium, a medium to dark, and an extra dark. So yeah, I'm gonna be testing this out. I'm a bit confused because it doesn't tell you how long to leave it on for until you need to rinse it off. Like there is no information apart from whack it on, your bod basically, it doesn't actually say that, but it's basically just saying put it on and then you're done. I don't know, I'm gonna be testing it out. I'm gonna be leaving it on throughout the day. I feel like whilst I'm doing my makeup in this video, we're gonna like slowly watch it develop. Oh, 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 I feel like we might have a really nice opening here. Are you ready? What a great way to start the day. <laughs> Using a mitt, apply the mousse in circular motions. Use the residue, I hate that word, residue. Use the residue on the mitt, only for hands, ankles, feet and face. I suppose the first thing I should do is take off my t-shirt. I've got a little bralette on underneath, by the way. I'm not just gonna get naked on camera. <laughs> oh, it looks like a bra. I promise it is like a little top thing. Oh, hello. <laughs> Moon's joined me for the occasion. That's nice of him. So this is what the bottle looks like. And then it's got just a little squirter in there, you know, standard. And I've got my little mitt and I'm just gonna give it a squirt. Hi. No, it does smell quite nice. It's got quite a like fresh smell, like almost a bit like a cucumber, <laughs> a cucumber. No, it smells nice. It smells better than a normal tan. Right, let's just give it a little go on my arm. Oh, oh, oh. It looks quite like greeny toned. Do you know what I mean? Some tans have a bit of a green look to them. Whereas the tan that I normally use has more of like an orangey look to it. Does that make sense? My sofa is being ripped. <laughs> It looks pretty good. It blended really easily and it's definitely given me like an instant bit of tan, but I'm guessing it is gonna develop over the next however many hours. But yeah, I'm gonna go and apply this to the rest of my body and I'll be back in a sec. Why have I just got blurry vision in one eye? Oh no, she's back. Right, I'm gonna go and do the rest of my tan. I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> So as you can see, the tan is now on. I actually really like how it's looking so far. I think it looks like a really nice color. It's applied really nicely. It's nice and even. My only negative is I put this on probably about an hour ago now and it's still really, really sticky. Like my skin feels so sticky. I don't feel like I could put any clothes on yet. Well, I've got this on, but I couldn't put a t-shirt on yet. It's been an hour and I'm still a very sticky person. So hopefully I'm not sticky for too much longer. But yeah, apart from that, I do really like it. I forgot to mention it's only three pounds and yeah, I'm just gonna let it develop throughout today. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get on with my makeup. As you can see, I've done my eyebrows because I couldn't find an eyebrow product that I hadn't tried before. Like I didn't see anything new so I've just done my eyebrows but everything else is new Primark makeup it's stuff that I haven't tried before and I'm pretty sure I've got some stuff from their new like autumn range I think it's new I've just remembered the first thing isn't makeup I have some donuts <laughs> some donuts I saw these it's a pack of two cooling gel eye masks and they look like donuts one pound I just kind of threw it in my basket I was like yeah do you know what I need them in my life <laughs> success they're not exactly oh no oh no oh no okay okay if you push them on your eyes oh not too hard if you press them onto your eyes you can feel the coldness okay that is quite nice actually but if you let go they, they... goodbye oh no i've been pressing them onto my eyebrows as well i might have ruined the brows i might have ruined them <gasps> we're good we're good anyway there we go that that's my donuts tested so i've tried a lot of primark foundations over the years and it's kind of hard to work out which ones are new which ones i haven't tried but i'm pretty sure i've never seen this fella before it's the my perfect 
sorry. My perfect color matte foundation. I got mine in the shade Cool Sand. It was three pounds and apparently it's a natural medium coverage. It really smells, like it smells really strong. I'm hoping when it dries, the smell will kind of die down a bit because honestly, <coughs> am I being over dramatic? <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell. <laughs> so that is the foundation. I can't smell it anymore. The smell has gone, so that's good. Do you know what? I actually really like how it looks. It applied really nicely. I would say it was more of a full coverage than a medium. Maybe I just put a lot on, but it's definitely a really good coverage, applied really nicely. It looks really good. Like honestly, really impressed with it. It's a shame it just smells like toxic chemicals, but what can you do? You can't have everything. It was only, did I say? It was only three quid, so. I am a little bit too light compared to my body, but not too bad. I feel like it is a pretty good match. And also I have got the guide color on right now. So, well actually I don't know. I don't know what color I'm gonna end up, but we'll find out later. Um, but yeah, I do quite like it. I like that foundation a lot. I also got a concealer. This is the My Perfect Color Ultra Long Wear Concealer. I got it in the shade Nude and it was £2.50. I've definitely never seen this before. For. Is this new? Do you know what? If you can't open it, just do that. <laughs> Such a bad man. Oh. Okay, so that is the concealer. I feel like it was all right. Like it's not my favorite, but it did the job. So for powder, I got the My Perfect Color Loose Mineral Powder. I got it in the shade Cool Sand to match the foundation. This was two pounds. It's a loose powder. Why do I keep doing this? Okay, I'm just gonna whack this all over my face. I know you're meant to do the whole bakey bake thing with it, but I don't like it. I feel like it makes my eyes go really creasy, so I'm not in the mood to bakey bake, so I'm just gonna whack it in my mouth. To be honest, I'm quite hungry. I might have to go for a little um, snack break in a minute because my stomach keeps rumbling. Okay, so I've just put a little bit of that all over my face. I feel like it has definitely made my face look even more matte than it already did. So that is good. I feel like it's set everything down and I'm now ready to keep going. Again, a bit like concealer. I never know what to say about powder. They're a bit boring. <laughs> Sorry. So for bronzer and contour, I've got the Sculpt and Glow Face Palette. This was six pounds. It looks quite nice though. You've got a range of different colors and you've got some are these highlighters i think these are highlighters for like deeper skin tones but i'm just going to be using these kind of what's that what's that what's that honestly i, I what is that maybe it's meant to be a face powder i'm going to use like these ones here to contour and bronze. <laughs> i'm going to take this one which is in the shade sunbeam and i'm just going to use that to contour And now I'm just gonna take a bit of this one, which is in the shade Spice, and I'm just gonna use that to kind of bronze up everywhere. Okay, well, I feel like I'm definitely matching my tan a little bit more now, although, no, I'm not, am I? I feel like my face is a lot more orange. They weren't too bad, they applied quite nicely. Maybe a little bit patchy, let me just dab that a bit. <laughs> so I got a few things from the Black Cherry range. This is the range that I think is new. I think this is their like autumn-y range. I might be wrong. If this has been around for years, let me know, that'll be so awkward, but it was on one of the stands that normally has like the new releases. So yeah. I pick this up. This is the Glow Lux Blush and Highlight Palette. It was six pounds. So you get three different blushes at the top. This one looks way too bright. Like that is a very bright pink. I think I'm probably gonna go for this one, which is in the shade Bliss. I mean, it seems to have done the job. It's just like a nice peachy color. I really like that color of blush at the moment because I normally use the, um, what is it? That peach one. Life's a peach one, you know the one. And that is that. Do I wanna use these highlighters? I have another highlighter. Look at this highlighter. Okay, it doesn't even look that good on camera, but this is the Ultra Glow Highlighter Powder in the shade Brunch Club. It was three pounds and it just looks... <laughs> oh, I feel like it's gonna be really good. It's just sort of like a very light champagne-y color. It looks like it's gonna be a really intense highlight. Do you know what I mean? It gives me intense vibes. I might be wrong, it might be rubbish, but I'm gonna give it a go. I would say that is a pretty intense highlighter. It actually looks almost like a silvery color on my face, but yeah, that is bright. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm back. I'm not gonna lie. I just went for a snack break. I was so hungry, but I'm back now. I'm gonna finish off my makeup. And the next thing I need to do is my eyeshadow, which I haven't done in a video in so long because I'll be honest, I don't wear eyeshadow on an everyday basis or, or ever. I never wear eyeshadow, so I don't really see the point in testing it. But I noticed in this black cherry range that I'm assuming is new, they had an eyeshadow palette. So I thought, well, I better give it a try. This is the Soft Luxe Eyeshadow palette it was eight pounds but it is quite big because i did think oh eight quid for an eyeshadow palette i thought that was quite a lot for primark but then i saw there were quite a lot of different shades inside so i think it's probably worth it well depends if it works so So this is what the palette looks like. You've got a mixture of matte shades and shimmery shades, and they're all kind of like autumn vibes, aren't they? You've got the kind of reddy, orangey colors, some purpley colors. The mirror has like a peely thing on it, and I think it's gonna be really satisfying. That was epic. <laughs> I think that's one of the best we've ever had. You know when you see a mirror and it's just so high quality, it's actually a little bit scary. Look at my piano. Wait, 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 I've got a piano. Whee! See it. Basically, it comes with a very nice mirror and yeah, I have completely forgotten how to do eyeshadow. I'm just gonna make this up as I go along. Oh no. God, when would I have done that? My eyeshadow brush still has a bit of pink on it. I don't even know what video that would have been from. I think I'm just gonna start off with a bit of this kind of light brown color. It's in the shade Nectar, and I'm just gonna use that as my crease color. Oh my God, it feels so weird doing this. I haven't done this in so long. Well, it has a lot of fallout because I just tapped all over these shades. <laughs> Okay, so this palette doesn't have any dark matte shades. I was hoping to do like a bit of a darker thing to build it up, but I ain't got anything for that. Okay, that was a bit of a spanner in the works, doesn't it? I think I'm just gonna go for a shimmer and I'm gonna go for one of these. So the ones down here in the circles are like proper shimmer. They look kind of like a foil. So I think I'm gonna try the gold and I'm just gonna pop that on my lid. My voice just went really deep. Lid. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna take a bit of this one. That is in the shade Honey Glow. I feel like it looks okay. I thought it was gonna be really fallouty because when I first put my brush in it, there was loads of like powder going everywhere, but there was no fallout, like none whatsoever. So that was really good. And the like shimmer that I put on top, it was all right. I feel like it worked better with my finger. I'm quite happy with it. I think for the first time in ages of doing eyeshadow, this is not too bad. So before I do the rest of my eyes, I'm gonna use a bit of setting spray. I think this has been around for quite a while, but I've never tried a Primark setting spray, so I thought I would give it a go. This is just the PS Glow setting spray. It was four pounds. It says shake me. So I'm gonna shake it and smack it onto my face. <laughs> Why is it so sticky? Sticky and smelly. Those are two things I don't like the sound of. I hope the actual product doesn't smell like that. No, it doesn't. Oh, the actual product smells so nice. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this without getting it on my body. I think my camera stopped recording just before I started spraying. That sounds like the weirdest thing I've ever said. Um, I'm pretty sure my camera stopped, so for your entertainment, I'll spray again. Why do I think that people want to watch this? But you might think I didn't test it, so this is proof. There we go, I've put a bit on. Am I extra glowy now? So I'm now gonna move on to mascara and I'm not gonna lie, when I saw this from afar, my first thought was, oh, they're selling Benefit products in Primark. That's so random. I genuinely thought this was Benefit's Their Real Mascara. The packaging is so similar. I just feel like it gives me Benefit vibes, but this is actually the Primark Wonder Lash Mascara. It was three pounds, so a lot cheaper than a Benefit one, but yeah, it's just very similar looking packaging. I mean, the actual mascara itself doesn't look that similar, but yeah, let's have a look and see what the wand is like. <gasps> A skinny wand, a nice long thin one. Just how I like it. That looks like it's gonna be really good actually. I don't like it. I don't think I like this. Oh, I don't really like it. Okay, I've put a few coats on and I don't mind it too much. It's not gonna be my new favorite, but it wasn't too bad. It was just a little bit clumpy. I feel like it was a little bit clumpy, but it was okay. I didn't mind it. I'm now gonna move on to some fake eyelashes. Hopefully this goes well. So Primark sell a load of these GWA fake eyelashes. I've never tried them before, but these are the Fantasy Fairy lashes. They were three 
three pounds. They look quite pretty, don't they? I'm gonna go and do this off camera, but I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> I honestly don't know if they look any good. My eye itches, I'm not gonna lie. A little bit itchy, maybe that lash glue, a little bit dodgy. It did smell very fishy. I think it's meant to smell like that, isn't it? Lash glue does have a funny smell, but it does feel a little bit itchy, especially on this one. Uh, but they don't look too bad. They are really pretty eyelashes. I think this one's stuck down quite nice, so yeah. Those are my lashes. So the final thing in my little Primark bag is a lip product. This was also with the Black Cherry range and it's got the same color packaging. So I think it's from that range, but this is the Liquid Lip Glaze in the shade Passion. This was £2.50 and yeah, it looks like a very autumn lip lip liquid lipstick color. So yeah, I'm gonna feel very autumnal. I'm just gonna, oh, there we go, opened it. Oh, hello, what? Purple. It smells so nice. Mm -mm. Okay, at least something smells nice for once, but it's purple. I thought it was like a burgundy colour. Anyway, let's put it on, see how it goes. Oh, I feel like this is going to be really messy. Oh, it's very dark. It's quite a nice colour. It's, it's very dark, like it's darker than I expected. I don't know if it really suits me, but it is a very nice autumn colour and I feel like it would be nice for autumn, obviously. <laughs> So this is my makeup look done. I feel like it actually does look quite nice. Like it's turned out quite nice and I think most of the products worked quite well. So yeah, I am impressed. I feel like Primark makeup gets better every time I test it. Um, but I'm just gonna leave this throughout the day. I am gonna check back later when it's time to check on the tan and rinse that off. So I guess I could check in on the makeup then as well and see how it's lasting. And I'll see you guys a little bit later. So it is now many, many hours later. I put this tan on at about 9 a.m. this morning and it's now just gone 5 p.m. I've just rinsed it off and this is what it's looking like. So this is what it goes like after having it on for eight hours, I think. I think it looks really nice. I honestly think it looks like a really nice tan for three pounds. I'm pretty happy with it. I guess the real test is to see how long it lasts. I'm pretty sure Soph did an entire video on this tan and she like tested how long it lasted. So maybe go and find that if you wanna know how long it lasts because I've I've got to get this video up ASAP so I can't test it properly but yeah my first impression is I do really like it. As for the makeup, I've probably had it on for about six hours, I think. Yeah, about six hours. And it's honestly lasting really well. I've taken the lashes off because they're just a bit uncomfortable. And I took the lip product off because it was really messy. But everything else is still there. I think it's still looking pretty good. So yeah, I'm very impressed. I'm really impressed with everything. And I think that's it now. I don't have anything else to test. So I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys enjoyed this testing video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Give it a big thumbs up if you want me to do more testing videos or more testing Primark videos in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.